Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily sync any effect with your speed ramped clips in After Effects. So here I have a speed ramped clip with an effect already applied and I want to show you what happens when you apply an effect directly onto a speed ramped video. In this case my clip is reverse speed ramped and I want the effect to follow the motion and timing of the speed changes. But as you can see, the scribble effect moves in only one direction, ignoring the reverse timing of the clip. Of course, you could manually keyframe the effect to match the speed ramp, but that would take a lot of time and effort to get it just right. A better way is to apply the effect first, then speed ramp the clip afterward. However if you've already speed ramped your clip and now want to apply the effect, no problem. I'll delete the effect for now and double click the pre-composed speed ramped layer to go inside and show you how to fix it properly. Here I have the original clip with time remapping not enabled and I'll apply the scribble effect directly within this composition. First let's pre-compose this layer and make sure move all attributes and adjust composition duration are selected and hit OK. Now let's scroll to the beginning of the video. To apply the scribble effect, we first need to mask out the wheel. For a clean and accurate mask, I'll use Mocha AE to handle both the masking and tracking. In Mocha AE, I'll select the ellipse tool and create a smooth mask around the wheel. Once the mask is in place, I'll enable perspective for more accurate tracking, then click the track forward button and wait for the process to complete. Once the tracking is complete, click save and close Mocha AE. Now expand the mat and click create AE masks. Next duplicate the layer, select the bottom copy, press M on your keyboard to reveal the mask and delete the mask from that layer. To stay organized, I'll rename the top layer to effect. Now on this effect layer, let's apply the scribble effect and quickly animate it. If you'd like a detailed tutorial on how to use and customize the scribble effect, check the description of this video, I've added a link there for you. Once we're done applying the effect, let's preview it. First we'll check it in this composition without time remapping enabled. Then we can return to the main composition and preview how the effect follows the speed ramp. Everything looks good, so now let's jump back to the main composition and check the speed ramped layer. And we're done. As you can see the scribble effect now follows the speed ramp perfectly, and it looks much cleaner and more dynamic than applying the effect directly to a speed ramped layer. But sometimes applying an effect directly on a speed ramped layer can also look great, it all depends on the style and the visual result you're aiming for. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.